Okay, hi everyone. So back when I was in Manchester, I had a bit of a problem with the gear cable on my bow. Basically, what happened is the little sleeve, there's like a telescopic sleeve on the cable which slots inside each other to stop the cable from kinking. Well, this detached from the actual cable and caused the cable to kink, um, which obviously prevented me from getting the boat into gear. So while I was back in Manchester, I sort of... Um, what it bodged it together with some cable ties and I bought a new one just before I left and I've been meaning to fit it ever since so I finally got round to doing that and today's vlog is going to be about that so I hope you enjoy watching to start with I'm going to need to remove the Morse control to do this I'll need to remove a small screw at the bottom of the lever and then remove this plastic cover the next step is to remove the four screws that attach it to the boat I should then be able to slide it down to access the back. Now I'll need to use some pliers to remove a very small split pin that attaches the end of the cable to the Morse control. And I'll cut the cable ties that I put on as a temporary repair. The cable is normally held in place by a slot on the Morse control and a groove on the cable. And the last step for this end of the cable is to unscrew the brass connector from the end. Now the other end of the cable is held in place by a clamp and bracket on the side of the engine. Unfortunately this had an imperial size bolt and I didn't have a spanner to fit it. So I'm using some mole grips and pliers to remove this bolt. As you can see this took me some time. This end of the cable is attached to the gearbox by a sliding cover over a ball joint. I'll also need to unscrew this connector from the end of the cable. Now I'm going to slide the new cable into the Morse control and locate it on that groove that I mentioned previously. I'll now screw the brass connector back onto the new cable. It's important not to screw on too far or not enough as this will prevent the Morse control from either going into forward or reverse. I'll then locate the split pin into the small hole on the end of the connector to keep it in place. Now I'll just check that the Morse control lever can go in both forward and reverse before I slide the Morse control back into the boat. I'll now slide the other end of the cable into the bracket on the side of the engine, locating it in its groove. I'll now screw the sliding brass connector onto the cable so that it will easily slot over the ball joint on the gearbox when it's in the neutral position. I'll now tighten up the clamping bracket. At this point it's a good idea to make sure everything runs smoothly as the ends of the cables may need further adjustment. I can finally screw the Morse control back in place and then reattach the lever. And as you can see, everything seems to be working great. Okay, I hope you've all enjoyed watching this vlog. If you have, then if you could please go and like and subscribe, and I'll hopefully see you all again next time. Bye-bye.